Greetings to you all. Welcome to class 10. Unit 7. Prose. The Dying Detective. Book Back Exercise Part 3. Dear children, already we have done till speaking session. Now we let us do from reading. Page 197. Read the story carefully and answer the questions asked below. A mystery case. For a man of ease, John Matthew kept an arduous schedule on Wednesdays. For example, he was awakened by nine and served breakfast in bed by Emmanuel, his chef. Next came a quick fitness session with Basky, his personal trainer. Then at 10.30, John Matthew answered his mail, returned phone calls and rearranged his social calendar helped by Lucy, his secretary. At noon, John Matthew drove his Jaguar to the station and took a commuter train to Gindi for his weekly lunch with Lally and Lolly, his two oldest and dearest friends. Then on to a little shopping, the four five non-stop would bring him back to Thambram. As John Matthew drove up to the house at five, Basky would have already set up the massage table and warmed the scented oils for soothing herbal wrap. It was a grueling life, but John seemed to thrive on it. On his Wednesday, however, there was an unexpected change of plan. Today, John's shopping errand involved taking his diamond bracelet into the jewelers for cleaning. He threw the expensive jewel into his purse and proceeded on to lunch. As John waved his friends goodbye and exited the restaurant, he sensed he was being followed. The feeling continued until he reached 10th Avenue. Then as he joined the throng of shoppers, John felt a hug. Within a split of second, a man riding pillion on his bike rode past him. Grabbing his purse, he couldn't guess who the culprit was. Okay, now you have uh, listened to the story. Now we are going to write the answers. Shall we do? Section G. Match the following. A man of ease, that is John Matthew, John's trainer, that is Basky, Matthew's secretary, Louis, fourth one, John's chef, Emmanuel, Matthew's friends, Lally and Lolly. Okay, children, at section, state whether the given statements are true or false. If false, correct the statements. Okay. Alright. Matthew is a very busy man. That is true. So no need to do any correction. Second one. He woke up very late in the morning. So this is correct. Third one. He always had lunch with his family. That is false. So why this is false? He had his weekly lunch with Lally and Lolly. Fourth one. He exercised with Louis every day. So that is also false. Actually, he exercised with Basky every day. Fifth one, he preferred handling mail by himself. That is false. Answer is, Louis, his secretary helped him in handling the mail. Okay, children. Okay, moving on to writing section, pamphlets. Pamphlet. A pamphlet is a small booklet or leaflet containing information or arguments about a single subject. They are helpful in presenting information in a more attractive way and also easily accessible and economical to distribute. They are generally used for describing the product or instructions, commercial information, promotion of events or promoting tourism. So, um, pamphlet is not a good book. So, there is a lot of information and there is a pamphlet. How to create a pamphlet? Step 1. Finalize your text. Text in the That is, you have to finalize it. Step 2. Choose a layout. Third one. Add appropriate images. Teviyana image. App on images. Next step 4. Ensure your pamphlet is cohesive and appealing. Pidikra madri design. Appealing. Okay. Next one, children. Create a pamphlet for the following. Make a pamphlet on dengue awareness. Focus on its causes, preventions, symptoms and 
precautions. Okay, so pamphlet you can see like a page page, smaller, so you can write, so you can clear it, like uh, causes, prevention, symptoms, precautions, so one page you don't know, so let us see, dengue awareness, symptoms, fever, headache, muscle and joint pains, nausea, vomiting, rashes, hemorrhagic manifestations, the next page you can see, alarm signs, intense abdominal pain, persistent vomiting, Abrupt change from fever to hypothermia with sweating and prostration, restlessness and somnolence. Prevention. Keep your house clean and dry. Do not leave stagnant water anywhere in or around the house. Spray dark hits spray to get rid of mosquitoes. mosquitoes. Keep wet garbage separately in a bin covered. And dispose it. During the rainy season, be cautious. Wear clothes that cover your whole body. If needed, smear exposed parts of the body with mosquito repellent cream. Change hand towel after use every day. Keep windows closed in early morning and early evenings. So, in the time, um, mosquitoes are coming inside. All right. Right. Okay, moving on. Next one. Make an attractive pamphlet for your school's fair organized for raising funds for any, any relief. Specify the date, time, types of stalls and reasons for the fair. Alright. So, here you can write. For example, in the first page you can write. Summer fair. 7th June to 12th June 2019. Planet Perfect School Udi. Bharatanatyam. And disco dance moves. Try out. Tickets very cheap. Raffle. Try your luck. Just rupees 50 per person. Art film. Neduvasal to be screened in the auditorium. Timings. 9th June. 1.30 pm to 4.30 pm. Entrance. Rupees 150 for adult. And rupees 75 for children. All are invited. Okay children. Alright, moving on to the next one. Make a pamphlet on latest gadgets. Mention the variety of models, uses, need and availability. Okay, here you can write latest gadgets. Apple iPhone revolutionized the way we communicate, play games, shop, work and complete everyday tasks. Credited with the first attempt to infuse computers into the phone. Second one. Nintendo Game Boy, a handheld device with gaming technology, later influenced and making and popularizing mobile games. Third one, JVC Video Camera, an iconic handheld video camera, the tape deck into camera. Now camcorders and smartphones have replaced it. Fourth one, TomTom Tom GPS, originally a US government founded, initiated by Ronald Reagan. And completed by Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton's decision to fully open the network has made its billion dollar commercial venture. Uber and Ola operate using GPS. Swiggy and Zomato use GPS to reach customers quickly. GPS is really a global positioning system. Next one, automatic water generator. AWG is a device that extracts water from humid ambient air. Water vapor in the air can be extracted by condensation cooling air below the dew point. Unlike dehumidifier, AWG is designed to render the water portable. AWGs are extremely useful in African countries where it is impossible or extremely difficult to get pure drinking water. Okay children? Alright. So okay, next we are moving on to the letter writing. Letter of inquiry. A letter of inquiry is a formal letter written to get more details or information about something. In this letter, the word limit should not exceed 200 words. It is used to inquire and get details to purchase an item, to know about a course for study. 
a place for a trip etc it must include sender's details model of inquiry letter vimala had purchased a laptop last year she writes a following letter to the shop inquiring about the warranty coverage for the damaged cost okay so how will you write letter mrs vimala 342 anna teresa street chennai 16 vimala 1958 at gmail.com 4th august 2019 to the manager digital electronics chennai 4 subject inquiry about damage replacement regarding madam or sir last year i purchased a new lenovo laptop in your shop during the new year offer now the laptop's display is damaged so i need to know whether there is any free replacement coverage or warranty period that covers the cost of repair please let me know the best way to address this issue thank you yours faithfully vimala m everything right in the left hand side okay okay children exercise now j section write a letter of inquiry for the following you are a librarian in the newly established school write a letter to the book dealer inquiring about the list of newly arrived english children's story books and varieties subject books relevant to 10 to 14 age groups now we are going to write a letter mrs sugandhi library ideal high school ranipet velu district 8th august 2018 to the manager pt bell and co ranganathan street tnagar chennai 17 subject inquiring about new arrivals of children's english story books subject books children in the age group of 10 to 14 regarding sir ours is an upcoming school catering to the learning needs of 1200 students it is proposed to stock the school library with english story books and subject books for students at the middle level therefore in the age groups of 10 to 14 kindly send the list of latest arrivals in children's english story books preferably abridged classics and core subject books appropriate to the absorbing capacity of students in the age groups of 10 to 14 who are in class 5th to 8th thanking you you are sincerely mrs suganti okay now moving on to the next letter venkat hails from a remote village of kanchipuram district tamil nadu who aspires to become an ias officer currently he is in class 10 he notices an advertisement on free classes for the ias aspirants by a trust in a newspaper he writes a letter to the coordinator of the trust inquiring for further details okay shall we write k venkat son of mr krishnan 18 coil street walajabad kanchipuram district 18th november 2018 to the liaison officer or coordinator bridge educational trust 5 station road nungambakkam chennai subject organizing free coaching classes for ias aspirant inquiry sir I came across your advertisement in the Hindu Tamil about free IAS coaching classes for IAS aspirants. I have just passed my SSLC. I cherish a dream of becoming an IAS officer. I wish to know the timings of your weekend classes. I want to attend your classes though I am though I am young and far to go. I believe an early exposure to the lectures of experts will help me clear the examination. In the very first attempt, kindly let me know if I need to pay for materials and test. Please let me know all the details about your coaching classes at the earliest. I don't want to be left behind because I am in a village. Thanking you, you are sincerely K. Venkat. Fine children? Okay. Now third letter goes like this write a letter to the head of the BSNL office inquiring regarding the internet broadband scheme launched recently okay R Radhika 247 Anna Salai Kanchipuram district Chengalpet 603002 7th October 2019 to the business manager BSNL head office 
natham chengal pet subject inquiry about unlimited broadband connectivity regarding sir i saw a recent advertisement in the newspaper that bsnl has slashed broadband connection charges you have also stated that there is fabulous discount for students if they produce a bona fide certificate kindly let me know the discounted tariff for student broadband connection along with the installation of modem please inform if you provide cable net for better connectivity thanking you your sincerely r radhika okay children a uh, children now let us move to grammar section okay page 200 simple complex and compound let us recall some important points that we learned in the previous unit so munadi padichathu just like that we will have a revision okay gerunds infinitives and participles are non finite verbs phrase is a group of words which does not contain a finite verb clause is a group of words which has a finite verb finite verbs indicate the tense and time of actions non finite verbs do not indicate tense and time of actions now let us study about the three different kinds of sentence simple complex and compound a simple sentence consists of only one finite verb simple sentence enna irukno one finite verb da irukno a complex sentence has one main clause and one more subordinate clauses one or more subordinate clauses a compound sentence has two main clauses combined by a coordinating conjunctions the coordinating conjunctions subordinating conjunctions and already detail pathto okay now let's see some simple sentences example ramu is too poor to buy a bicycle despite his old age raghu walked fast third one in the event of not consulting a doctor you cannot recover fourth one on seeing the teacher the children stood up fifth one due to the heavy downpour the match was cancelled in the above sentences finite verbs are highlighted inga parasi is walked cannot recover stood up was cancelled all these are finite verbs now let's see complex sentence examples ramu is too poor that he cannot buy a car anga pathina ramu is too poor to buy a bicycle irukku here ramu is so poor that he cannot buy a bicycle though raga was old he walked fast third one unless you consult a doctor you cannot recover you cannot recover all these are main clauses as soon as the children saw the teacher they stood up so they stood up is main clause as there was a heavy downpour the match was cancelled the match was cancelled the match was cancelled is a main clause the part of sentence is highlighted are main clauses now let's see some examples for compound sentence ramu is very poor and he cannot buy a bicycle appa ramu is very poor or complete sentence he cannot buy a bicycle complete sentence so we are connecting using coordinating conjunction raga was old yet he walked fast okay so raga was old adore full sentence he walked fast full sentence connection using coordinating conjunction third one you consult a doctor otherwise you cannot recover okay fourth one the children saw the teacher and they stood up so you can understand how it is connecting there was a heavy downpour and the match was cancelled in the above sentences the words highlighted are conjunctions now let us see some exercise transform the following sentences as instructed on seeing the teacher the children stood up now we have to change it into complex sentence so how will you do as soon as the students saw the teacher they stood up second one at the age of 6 varsha started learning music now we have to change it into complex sentence varsha started learning music when she was 6 years old third one as varun is a voracious reader he buys a lot of books now we have to change it into simple sentence being a voracious reader varun buys a lot of books 
fourth one walk carefully lest you will fall down change it into complex sentence if you don't walk carefully you will fall down fifth one besides being a dancer she is a singer now change it into compound sentence she is not only a dancer but also a singer sixth one he is sick but he attends the rehearsal change it into simple sentence in spite of being sick he attends the rehearsal seventh one if meena reads more she will become proficient in the language change it into compound sentence meena reads more and she will become proficient in language eighth one he confessed that he was guilty change it into simple sentence he confessed his guilt okay children okay ninth one the boy could not attend the special classes due to his mother's illness change it into compound sentence the boy's mother was ill and so he could not attend the special class tenth one he followed my suggestion change it into complex sentence he followed what i suggested okay children now next one combine the pairs of sentences below into simple complex and compound first one is radha was ill she was not hospitalized now how we are going to change despite being ill radha was not hospitalized this is simple radha was ill but she was not hospitalized the but irukranaala that is compound sentence though radha was ill she was not hospitalized that is complex sentence okay second question the students were intelligent they could answer the questions correctly so being intelligent the students could answer the questions though this is simple students were intelligent and so they could answer the questions correctly this is compound as the students were intelligent they could answer the questions correctly this is complex third question children i must get a visa i can travel abroad now change it into simple i must get a visa in order to travel abroad next one i must get a visa and i can travel abroad so and is there so that is compound sentence if i get a visa i can travel abroad this is complex sentence now fourth sentence i saw a tiger it was wounded i saw a wounded tiger that is simple sentence i saw a tiger and it was wounded that is compound sentence i saw a tiger which was wounded that is complex sentence okay fifth one children there was a bunth the shops remained closed and when you change no in the simple the shops remained closed due to a bunth that is simple sentence there was a bunth and so the shops remained closed that is compound sentence as there was a bunth the shops remained closed that is complex sentence fine children did you all understand okay i'll give you a uh, tabular column which will give you uh, some more idea you can use this tabular column children simple complex compound okay for example in spite of despite for all unmindful of notwithstanding comes in simple so when you change it into complex sentence you can use though although even though when you change it into compound sentence but it still like that a big compound uh, a big tabular column is there you can just have it it will be definitely useful for you okay